in 2023 so far for Rams baseball. As we said, Rams Thursday will travel to Wayne Trace, or travel to Wayne Trace, or at Wayne Trace, will travel to. No, you're fine. The Rams will travel to Fairview on Thursday in another huge contest where they'll take on the Fairview Apaches. I got a sun directly on our camera. I'm trying to put something on it so it does not overheat. So <laughs> if I happen to pause for a couple of seconds, I'm trying to tape some shade on our our camera. I'm hoping <laughs> it doesn't overheat because we are literally right in the heart of the sun. So there we go. Got a piece of paper taped to the top of that. So hopefully that works. Cooper Winslick on the mound for the Raiders. Comes in a 1 0. Pitched 10 innings so far. Well, just three hits. Struck out 18, has hit three batters, and walked five for Cooper Winslet. 74 degrees here on your David Frank weather. 5 02 will be your first pitch. Rams. Hayden Mosier steps in. Mosier playing in left field. Bats from the right side. First pitch by Winslet. Off the glove of Tucker Antoine to the backstop. 1 0. Lady Rams softball playing right next door to us as well. Winslick winds it up, fires. That's a little bit high. Two balls and no strikes on deck for the Rams. Caden Radzik. We'll try and get a score later, Rams, when we can. 2 0 pitcher. Pitch to Mosier's high and away. Ball three. Three balls, no I would call that a strike. Two balls, one strike to Aiden Mosier. Winslick wears number 10 on his jersey. His 2-1 pitch is called strike two. Just in her way here at Wayne Trace, no score. Two balls, two strikes to the Rams leadoff hitter, Aiden Mosier. Winslick winds it up. Pitch, breaking ball, outside corner, strike three called. Mosier is caught looking. First strikeout. First out of the game for the Raiders. Yeah, cough right in the middle there. Sometimes that happens. Going to bring up Caden Radzik. Radzik, the Rams shortstop, heading the second position. First pitch by Cooper Winslick. A strike. Winslick bringing the heat. I don't have a gun here, but I'm sure it's probably mid 80s. Breaking ball inside corner. Strike two called. No balls. Two strikes to Rams shortstop Caden Radzik. Thanks for joining us here on Tenor Rams Live on a beautiful Tuesday. 2 0 pitch sails outside. One ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Radzik, Tapper, or the mound. Shortstop, Wainems comes on. Can't make the play. It's going to be an infield single for Caden Radzik. Radzik with a tapper right in front of the plate. Went over the head of Cooper Winslick. Kale Wainems came on. Could not make the play. Actually, here, Kenny Stabler must be at the softball field next door because I heard Kenny's voice over there doing PA for the... Rams and Raiders softball game. Radzik leads away at first. Going to bring up Alex Shoblin. Shoblin DHing for Eli Plasman. Pitch to Shoblin. Ball one. Listen to Kenny for good lord. About my whole life. <laughs> One ball, no strikes. The pitch coming to Shoblin. That one's low and outside. Two balls and no strikes. Radzik with an infield single on the first with one out, no score. Top of the first inning over here at Wayne Trace. Perfect day for baseball. Wins like 2-0 pitch coming to Shoblin. Strike. Outside corner called strike on Shoblin. Two balls and one strike to Alec. Yeah. 
Winslick looks over at Razik at first from the set. 2-1 pitch to the plate. Outside, just a little bit outside. Ball three. Three balls and one strike. To the Rams' number three hitter, their DH, Alex Shoblin. On deck is Taryn Ward for the Rams. Radzik, decent lead over at first. 3-1 to Shoblin from Winslick. Inside, ball four. Radzik goes down to second. Down to first is Alex Shoblin. It's going to bring up the Rams' number five hitter, or number four hitter, third baseman, Taryn Ward. Number 10, Tegan Ward. Ward digs in from the right side of the plate. Winslick looks back at second base at Radzik. Long look back, comes to the plate. Breaking ball catches the outside corner. Strike one to Taryn Ward. Runners lead from first and second. Winslick's 0-1 coming to Taryn Ward. That one strike two called. Ward down in the count, no balls and two strikes. Head coach Brent Reynolds coaching over at first. And Reed Anders coaching at first for the Rams. 0-2 pitch coming from Winslick to Ward. Swung on and missed, throw down to first base. Shoblin back safely. Ward goes down swinging the second out of the inning. That's a second strikeout for Cooper Winslick. Going to bring up third or Rams second baseman. Luke Harris. Harris batting in the fifth spot. Dalton Wolfram will be on deck for the Rams. Rams with runners at first and second. Two out now. Winslick to Harris. Swung on and missed. Strike one. It's a long walk. Winslick looks back, looks back at second. Pitch to Harris inside. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Cooper Winslick ahead of Luke Harris. No balls and two strikes. Two outs. Rams have runners at first and second here in the top of the first inning. No score. 0 oh, 2 pitch. Long look back at the runner to the plate. Harris fouls it at the plate. Stays alive. No balls and two strikes. Count to Luke Harris. Great crowd here, great crowd at the softball diamond as well. PBR Sports is here as well. You Dylan down here, right behind home plate. Winslick's 0-2, he sets, looks back at Radzik at second. Comes to the plate, Harris fouls it off. First base side out of play. Count remains, no balls and two strikes to Luke Harris. Mosier struck out. Razik with an infield single. Shoblin with a walk. Rams had runners at first and second with one out. Karen Ward struck out. Luke Harris at the dish with a no ball, two strike count. Winslick gets the sign from Antoine. Looks back at second. 0 2 pitch to Harris. Inside hit to shortstop. Shortstop gathers it, throws over. Kale Winans throws out Luke Harris for out number three. And the inning, the Rams threaten. They do not score. No runs, one hit, no errors for the Raiders. Rams leave two after a half inning here at Wayne Trace. It is the Rams nothing, and the Raiders will be coming to bat. Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement? Or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one -on -one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenor Rams athletes this season. Back here at Wayne Trace, Rams threatened, had runners at first and second with one out, did not score. Cooper Winslet with 
two strikeouts in the inning. Tired Luke Harris on the last out. That was 6-3 on the put out to retire the Rams. Antoine, Brevin Anderson, Kale Winams, your first three batters, followed by Cooper Winslick in the cleanup spot. Number five, Kyle Slade. Sixth hitter is Kyle Four. Seventh hitter is Tyler Davis. Your eighth hitter is Evan Miller. And your number nine hitter is a Tyler Head. Setting the Rams defense, Eli Plasman on the hill, Dalton Wolfram behind the plate, Hunter Bosselman at first, Luke Harris at second, Caden Radzik at short, Taron Wards at third, outfield, Aiden Mosier in left, Grady Gusweiler in center, Connor Wolfram in right field, and your DH is Alex Shoblin hitting four, Eli Plasman. Number one, Tucker Antoine. Tucker Antoine steps in, hitting 381 through the first six games. Raiders 5-1, and 1-0 one, one and in the GMC. Excuse me, got a little cough here tonight. A little tickle in your throat. Plasma, the senior righty on the hill for the Rams, winds it up. First pitch to Antoine. Outside, ball one. Antoine bats from the right side of the plate. Plasman's 1-0, that one's outside. Two balls and no strikes. Two leadoff hitter, catcher. Tucker Antoine. 2-0 pitch. Swung on, foul at the plate. Two balls and one strike to the junior backstop. Yeah, look. Coach Jerome for his junior varsity. Yes, <laughs> I can't even. I should have counted him. There's got to be 20 kids on there. 2 1 pitch. Hit third base side. Ward gathers it, fires over in time to retire Antoine for the first out of the inning. 5 3 on the put out. Now batting, number 21, Brevin Anderson. Bring up Brevin Anderson. Anderson 250 on the early season for the Wayne Trace Raiders. 458 on base percentage. Anderson has four RBI. Plasman's pitch swung on a little tapper back to the mound. Plasman off of it, fires over to first base in time to get Anderson off the bat. Looked like it was going to be a base hit, a little dribbler between third base and the mound. Plasma third jumped off Raiders. the mound, fired down to first base in time to get Anderson. 1-3 on the put out. Going to bring up Cale Winans. Winans 235 this young season. Bats from the right side. Plasma's first pitch way outside. Ball one. No score. Bottom of the first inning over here at Wayne Trace. Raiders have two outs with nobody on. Plasma winds it up. 1-0 pitch. Outside ball two. Third baseman number 34, 2-0 pitch coming. Swung on and missed strike one. Two balls, one strike, two out. Nobody on. Kale Winans is a dish. Number three hitter playing shortstop. Made a heck of a play to win the inning. Rams had runners at first and second. Plasman's 2-1. Breaking ball way up and in. Three balls and one strike. Looking around the GMC today, Antwerp and Fairview, Edgerton and Ayersville, Poling and Hicksville. Plasman's 3-1 to Winans. Swung on, hit right back through the box. I actually think it hit off Plasman's glove in the center field for a solid base hit. Winans on with a two-out single. Number 10, Cooper Winslet. Plasma stuck the glove out, just didn't get it quick enough, and that was like a lightning bolt back through the box by Winans. Number four hitter Cooper Winslick steps in. Cooper 465 last year with 35 RBIs. He's batting 389 this season. Winslick on the mound for Coach Jerome. Throw over to first base back safely with the head first dive is Kale Winans. Kyle Slade on deck for the Raiders. Plasman from the stretch. Throws back over. Winans, another head first dive. Winans on the first, two outs. No score here in the bottom of inning number one. Beautiful day for baseball. 
74 degrees at first pitch. Plasman to the plate. Swung on and missed. Change up. Got Winslick swinging. Winslick just a little ahead of that pitch. No balls and one strike to Cooper Winslick. Winslick just a junior. Plasman, long look in. Pitch to Winslet. Ground ball, shortstop side. Razik bobbles it. Throws his second base. Throws it by Harris. Goes into right field. That's going to be an error on the shortstop. Radzik. Lyons goes all the way over to third. Winslet is on at first. Routine ground ball to Radzik. Got ball got stuck in his glove. He tried to get it out. And the time he did, he threw it to second base. Ball went into right field. So the Raiders threatening with runners at first and third with two out. It's going to bring up the number five hitter, Kyle Slade. Slade, 429 this season. Bats from the right side. Plasman from the stretch. Comes to the plate. Pitch outside corner. Strike one called. Coach Jerome with just three seniors. Kyle Slade, Evan Crosby, and Tyler Davis. So the Raiders are a force to be reckoned with in the seasons to come. Captured a tie for their GMC title last year. Throw over to first base. Back with the head first dive is Winslick. First title since 1986 for the Raiders. Three-way tie, Tenora, Antwerp, and Wayne Trace last season. Plasman comes to the plate. Nice stop by Rams backstop Dalton Wolfram to save a wild pitch. Counts even to Slade at one ball and one strike. Two outs. Runners at the corners for the Raiders. Rams should be out of the inning. Unfortunately, an error has prolonged the first inning for Plasman and the Rams. Plasman over to first base. Back standing this time is Winslick. Another throw over. Back standing is Winslick. Winslet like two steals, but not a threat to go, I wouldn't think, in this spot. Pitches outside, ball two, two balls, and one strike, two outs. To the number five hitter, Kyle Slade. Slade playing at first base for Coach Jerome. Plasman's 2-1. Swung on, hit into right field for a base hit. That's going to score Winans. Throw to third, ball gets away. Actually hit off the third base coach, Coach Jerome down there. Raiders on top, one nothing. Winslet hustled all the way over to third. Slade with an RBI single has put the Raiders up, one nothing here in the bottom of the first inning. Number six hitter, Kyle Four steps in. Four batted 398 last season. And this season, four is... Off to a slow start, 077 for Kyle Four. <laughs> Played down to second. Well, uncontested steal there. Pitches a ball. Raiders with runners at second and third. Two outs. Plasman from the stretch. Pitch to four is high. Two balls and no strikes. Tyler Davis on deck for the Raiders. Plasman's 2-0 outside. Why do they call that an outside corner strike? Two balls and one strike. Tyler Davis awaits on deck. Plasman from the stretch steps off. Calls for Wolfram to come out and go through the signs. Raiders with an unearned run here in the bottom of the first inning. They all count. Plasman looks in, gets a sign from Dalton Wolfram, comes to the plate. Breaking ball, fouled back. Count evens. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two runners on here in the bottom of the first inning. The Raiders, with a unearned run, have grabbed a nearly one nothing lead over the visiting Tenor Rams. Come on, 
Plasman's pitch. Ground ball deep in the hole. Radzik has the ball go underneath his glove. Another run for the Raiders. Cooper Winslet gives him run number two. We'll give four an RBI on that. Even if Radzik comes up with the ball, it's going to be a long throw in the hole. Third base side hole. So runners at the corners for the Raiders. They're up 2-0. They have three hits here in the first inning. And they lead the Rams 2-0. Tyler Davis, the seventh batter to bat here in the first inning. Runners at first and third for the Raiders. Plasman's pitch, high and away, ball one. Softball comes flying over from the softball complex right next door to us here. Lady Rams over there playing the Raiders. One ball, no strike. The count to Tyler Davis. Runners at first and third. Plasman's pitch. Strike called on the inside corner. Count evens at one ball and one strike. Last time the Rams were over here, it took them about two or three days to play it. Played about an inning and a half. Rains came. Rams tried to come back a couple times. Finally completed that game. I think the Rams won it 20 to nothing, if I remember. Then last year, the same. A couple rain outs. And it wound up being the last GMC game of the season. 1-1 one, one pitch coming to Davis. Swung on, hit into left field. Mosier out there in foul territory. Long run. Can't make the play. Mosier with the long run got a glove on it. And could not snag it. And we're there by the fence in left field. So the Raiders and Tyler Davis stay alive. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Runners at first and third for the Raiders. They've had two runs scored here in the bottom of the first inning. Plasman on the mound for the Rams. Long look in, gets a sign from Wolfram. His one-two pitch to Tyler Davis. Inside corner. Strike three call. That looked like it was just a little bit inside. But Kyle... Tyler Davis caught looking for the third out the Raiders get two for the Raiders. Hits. They score two runs. They do so with three hits. One huge Ram error, and the Raiders leave two after an inning of play here at Wayne Trace High School. The Raiders two, and the Rams nothing. Who couldn't use an extra 3000 or 2000 Okay, how about 1000 or even 500 Those are the top four prizes in the most recent Tenora Athletic Boosters fundraiser. Tickets are $10 each or 6 for 50 Get a ticket at any Tenora home game. Just visit a booster member or go to our Facebook page at Tenora Athletic Boosters. The drawing will be held after 2,000 tickets are sold for a spring sports drawing. The Athletic Boosters is a nonprofit organization that supports the Tenora athletes, coaches, and athletic facilities. The Boosters' support is shown many ways, including volunteering time, raising money, and contributing funds to better enhance the Rams' teams or organization's performance. Yearly and lifetime memberships are available. That's the Tenora Rams Athletic Boosters, who are a proud sponsor of Tenora Sports and Tenora Rams Live. Still got time to get your tickets for the winter raffle, winter slash spring raffle. And you still got time to get your tickets for the reverse raffle, which happens this Saturday, 5 p.m. Doors open at the Ridgeville Legion. Great time last year. Make sure you get your tickets. $50 a ticket. That includes meals, drinks, and, you know, and a great time. Me and Coach Fairchild apparently will be your host, I guess. <laughs> so it should be uh, entertaining to uh, say the least. We're used to talking to people, but not talking to people, I guess in front of people <laughs> we're used to talking to hundreds and sometimes thousands but not in front of us so it should be interesting six seven and eight wolfram boss one and connor wolfram to bat first pitch to dalton wolfram is fouled off first base side out of play rams threatened in the first inning had runners at first and second with one out could not score raiders made a play to end the inning Winslick winds up his 0-1 pitch. Fouled off this time, third base side. Rams could have got out of the first inning 
And unfortunately, an error prolonged the inning, which allowed the Raiders to score two runs in the bottom of inning two to grab a 2-0 lead. Winslick's 0-2 to Wolfram. Ground ball second base side. Scooped up by Brevin Anderson to retire. Dalton Wolfram, 4-3 for the first out here in inning number two. Now batting number 19, Hunter Bosselman. Going to bring up Hunter Bosselman. Bosselman, the number seven hitter, playing at first base for head coach Renolette today. Winslet gets the sign, winds it up. First pitch. A little bit outside, ball one. Winslick winds it up as 1-0 pitch to Bosselman. That one strike called. Counts even one ball, one strike, one out. Nobody on for the Rams. They trail 2-0 here as they bat in the top of inning number two. Winslick's 1-1. Ground ball third base side. Didn't cut of the grass was Kyle Four. Fires over in time to get Bosselman for out number two. Going to bring up Connor Wolfram. Connor Wolfram. Wolfram with a heck of a night last night in the Rams. Huge win over at Eden. Rams with a 20-0 victory. Eden did not get a hit in the contest. Wolfram on base four times. First pitch to Connor, outside corner. Strike one called. Swung on and missed. Winslick threw that one by Connor Wolfram. Grady Gusweiler on deck for the Rams. Winslick winds it up 0-2 to Connor. Ground ball, second base side. Nice hop for Anderson. Throws over to first base. Can't handle the throw. So Wolfram on with a two-out error. Number 25, Grady Gusweiler. Each team now with an error. Grady Gusweiler, is number nine hitter, playing in center field, steps in for the Tenora Ball Club. Cooper Winslick looks over at first base. From the stretch position, comes to the plate, breaking ball. Catches the corner, strike one to a Grady Gusweiler. Top of the lineup, Aiden Mosier on deck for the Rams. Winslick looks over at first at Connor Wolfram. 0-1 pitch, catches the corner, strike two. Runner at first, two outs, no balls and two strikes to Grady Gusweiler. Winslick from the stretch, comes set, long look in. 0-2, tap third base side, four up with it. Over just in time to get the speedy Gusweiler for out number three. Five three on the put out in the inning for the Rams. No runs, no hits, one Raider error. The Rams leave one after an inning and a half here at Wayne Trace High School. It's the Raiders two and the Tenor Rams nothing. So we'll be back right after this. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance has been providing seamless and transparent real estate closings in Northwest Ohio for 27 years. From contract to closing, their experienced team of attorneys and title agents work with lenders, businesses, and individuals to meet their real estate needs. Call the office at 419-782-3334 Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or visit them online at maumeetitle.com. Maumee Valley Title Agency of Defiance wishes all the Tenora Rams athletes the best this season. After an inning and a half on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard, the Raiders with a 2-0 lead over the Rams. Rams have left three on through their first two at-bats. Raiders with two unearned runs in their bottom half of inning number one. They're going to send up the number eight, nine, and leadoff hitter to face Eli Plasman. Evan Miller, Tyler Head, and then Tucker Antoine to face Plasman. After a one-out single, Cooper Winslick stepped to the plate and reached on an error. Now it was downhill in the first inning for Plasman and the Rams as the Raiders plated two runs. Going to bring up Evan Miller. 
Miller, your DH tonight. Walk up song is Johnny Cash. <laughs> Not too often hear that. Miller bats from the right side. Oh, it's Crosby. Okay. Crosby. Evan Crosby is a DH, yes. Evan Miller is in the field, so Evan Crosby is at the plate. One ball, one strike. Plasman winds it up. Pitch to Crosby. Swung on and miss. Strike two. Crosby won 11 through six games. Plasman winds it up, his one, two. Swung on, hit the third base. Ward scoops it up, long throw over, just a little bit off. Bosselman comes off the bag, puts the tag on Crosby as he comes by for out number one. Nice play by Hunter Bosselman over there. First out of the inning, he's gonna bring up Tyler Head. 5-3 on the put out, Tyler Head. The number nine hitter playing in a right field for Coach Jerome. Plasman winds it up. First pitch. A little high and away. Ball one. Tyler had 294 through six games. 1-0 pitch called strike on the outside corner. Count evens, one ball, one strike, one out here. Raiders batting in the bottom of the second inning with a 2-0 lead over the Rams of Tenora. Pitch, ground ball. Ball goes through the glove of Ward. Or under the glove of Ward. Radzik tried to get it deep in the hole. Could not. Could have been a long throw for Radzik anyways. So head is on at first base. Gonna be another error for the Rams, E5. Top of the lineup, Tucker Anton. Antoine with a ground out, his first plate appearance. Runner at first, one out for the Raiders. Head with the lead, Plasman throws over. Back safely. Antoine, 381, pitched to him as foul back, strike one. No balls, one strike, one out here. Raiders with a 2-0 lead in the bottom of inning number two. Runner on at first, Tyler Head. Plasman from the stretch, looks over at the runner, comes to the plate, pitch is low and away, ball one. One and one to the leadoff hitter, Tucker Antoine. Brown Anderson on deck for the Raiders. Plasman from the stretch comes set. His 1-1 pitch catches the outside corner. Strike two. Plasman's throw over just a little bit off high and away. Nice snag by Bosselman. Had to jump off the bag to snag the Plasman throw. 1-2 pitch. Plasman comes to the plate. He bounces it off the chest protector of Wolfram. Down to second base goes Tyler Head on the wild pitch. So Head with one out is on at second. Count to the leadoff hitter Antoine is two balls and two strikes. One out. Plasman from the stretch looks back at the runner at second. Comes to the plate. That pitch is high. Full count. Three and two to Tucker Antoine. Plasman's payoff pitch, swung on, hit into left field. Just a little bit foul. Count remains three and two. Head goes back to second base. Raiders up two nothing here in the bottom of inning number two. Threatening to add more with the runner a second with one out. 
Plasman looks back ahead at second. 3-2 pitch to Antoine. Way outside. Wolfram saved another wild pitch. Antoine heads down to first base with a one-out walk. Runners for the Raiders now at first and second. Meet of the order here, Brevin Anderson steps in. Anderson followed by Waynes and Winslick. Timeout on the field. Head coach Brent Renolette is going to go out and have a conversation with Eli Plasman, and that's going to be it. Plasman will be replaced by Corbin Castile. So Castile will come in for Plasman, and we'll take a break, and we'll be back right after this timeout after the pitching change. The Fired Stone Tavern in Defiance is anything but basic. In 2021, the Fired Stone Tavern was voted to have the best pizza in the area. Now, in 2022, They've been voted as the best burgers around. Firestone Tavern is the area's go-to for wood-fired pizza, amazing appetizers, and so much more. Chef Aaron and his staff are here to serve nothing but the best. No plans after the big game? Stop out for ice-cold drinks and all the games on TV you can ask for. Our back room and patio are available for events like birthdays, corporate lunches, parties, and much, much more during the week with a 25-person minimum. Located at 211 Carpenter Road at the Eagle Rock Golf Course, the hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. And Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Give the Firestone Tavern a call, 419-785-4015, or order online at firestonetavern.com. Firestone Tavern wishes the best to all the Tenora teams. After an inning and a third, head coach Brent Rowlett comes out. He's going to make a pitching change. Eli Plasman. It's worked an inning and a third. Was allowed two runs. Those are unearned so far. Allowed three hits. Rams committed three errors, two errors behind Plasma. Did not strike out anybody. Walked one. Two runners on are his responsibility. Castillo enters. Senior righty will face Brevin Anderson. So Castillo in relief of Plasma. Anderson. 0 for 1, grounded back to Plasman. Heck of a play by Plasman in the first inning. Old dribbler off the bat of Anderson. Third base side, Plasman jumped off the mound, fired over to first base to get Anderson. Runners at first and second. Head at second, Antoine at first. Castile from the stretch position. Comes set, first pitch, right called. Anderson, Winans, and Winslick, your next three. Castile, long look in, gets the sign. Looks over at the runner at first, now back at second. 0-1 pitch, squared around the bunt was Anderson, brought the back back, strike two called. So Anderson down on the count. No balls and two strikes, one out, two on. Raiders up two nothing here in the second inning, bottom of the second inning. Castile. 0-2 pitch coming to Anderson. Just caught the outside corner. Strike three call. So Anderson caught looking for out number two. Dale Winans is going to step in. Winans with a single and run scored in the Raiders' two-run first inning. Two on, now two out. Castillo looks back at the runner at second. Comes to the dish. Breaking ball catches the outside corner. Strike called. One thing you're going to see from Corbin Castillo is a lot of off-speed pitches and a lot of breaking balls. Not too much of a fastball pitcher, Castillo. Castillo from the set. 0-2 pitch to Winans. Throw down the first base. Oh, ball just off the glove of Bosselman. Runner goes to third head. Ball escape Bosselman briefly. A good throw, and they would have had Winans out at first base. Pitch was a ball. One ball, one strike. Or no balls, two strikes was called a strike. 0-2 oh, pitch coming to Winans from Castile. Fouled right back. That is here at Wayne Trace High School. Now stays 0-2. Raiders with runners at the corners, first and third. Two outs. Cooper Farms scoreboard out there in right center field. Castillo, long look in, still looking. Gets the sign from Wolfram. Comes set. 0-2 pitch to the plate. 
Swung on. Fly ball to left field. Aiden Mosier out there puts it away for out number three. Pick up Fly ball lead two. to Mosier ends the inning for the Raiders. Castillo comes in, puts out the fire for the Raiders. They threaten, do not score. No runs for the Raiders. No hits, another Ram errors. The Raiders leave two on base. After an inning and a half over here at Wayne Trace High School, the Raiders of Wayne Trace 2 and the Tenor Rams nothing. Signs Excavating of Defiance offers a variety of excavating and trucking services. Signs Excavating can assist with general excavating services, demolition, and emergency repair work. From driveways to ditch cleaning to site prep, Signs Excavating is here to assist. Signs Trucking Service can also assist in any of your equipment hauling needs. They're located at 2147 State Route 66. Signs Excavating, family owned and operated since 1999. For any excavating needs, give Josh a call at 419-769-2290. And for your trucking needs, ring up Brad, 419 419- 9481-3738. Be sure to visit them online at signsexcavating.com or Signs Excavating on Facebook. Signs Excavating wishes all the best to the Tenora Rams athletes. For the Rams, they're going to set up the top of the lineup. One, two, and three against Cooper Winslick, Mosier, Radzik, and Shoblin to face Winslick. Through the first two, Winslick has struck out two Rams. Rams threatened in the first inning. Had two runners on with one out. Could not score. Raiders with two runs in the bottom of inning number one. Those were unearned. Raiders threatened last inning. Had two runners on with one out. Corbin Castile entered and did not allow a hit. Mosier struck out looking to start the contest. Top of the third inning. 2 nothing. Wayne Trace. Rams coming at 6-0. Raiders 5-1. Lone loss by the Raiders was to Salina. Winslick winds it up. First pitch to Mosier is outside. Strike one. Winslet go one pitch to Mosier, breaking ball, swung on and miss. Strike two, Mosier down quickly, no balls, and two strikes. Go two to Mosier, swung on and miss. Strike three. Mosier the first strikeout. Number eleven, Caden Radzik. To start the Rams third, it's going to bring up Rams shortstop, the number two hitter, Caden Radzik. Radzik. Singled in the first. Thursday, Tenor is at Fairview, and the Raiders travel over to Hicksville to take on the Aces. Jackson Bergman no longer there, graduated. The University of Toledo, I believe, Jackson is. First pitch to Radzik is a ball, ball one. Winslet gets the sign, winds it up. 1-0 pitch to Caden is outside. Catch at the corner, strike one. Pittsburgh Sue. Listening or watching, as always, I'm sure she is. 1-1 one, one, to Caden. Inside, backs him up a bit. Two balls and one strike. Out Shoblin on deck. 2-1 to Radzik again, up and in. Three balls and one strike. Winslet with a 2-0 record for the Raiders. Winslick's 3-1 to Radzik inside ball four. Radzik with a one-out walk. Trots down to first base. Going to bring up the DH, Alex Shoblin. So Shoblin digs in from the right side. Shoblin walked in the first inning. Radzik a threat to go. Leads away at first. Winslet from the set. First pitch to Shoblin. Long set by Winslet. Pitch a little inside and low. Ball one. Four nothing. Rams over the Raiders next door. Courtesy of Mr. Kenny Stabler. Winslet from the set. His 1-0 to Shoblin. Radzik leads from first. 
Strike on the outside corner, evens the count at one ball, one strike, one out. Rams trail 2 nothing as they bat here in the top of the third. Radzik leads away from first through a one-out walk. Winslick looks over there at him, wears number 10 on his jersey, comes to the plate. That's a little bit quicker there. First two times Shoblin was at the dish, his long pause by Winslick. This time he got the ball and just fired to the plate. Shoblin swings and misses. One ball and two strikes to Alex Shoblin. And fourth inning, center field, number one, Anna Frazier. One, two, fouled off first base side. Karen Ward on deck for the Rams, followed by Luke Harris and Dalton Wolfram. 74 degrees at first pitch here at Wayne Trace High School. David Frank weather. Perfect weather here on this Tuesday. 2-1 hit second base side. Throw to second base in time to get Radzik. Again, nice hop for Brevin Anderson. Threw over two Winans at second to cut down the lead runner. So Radzik becomes out number two at second. Shoblin on at first on the fielder's choice. 4-6 on the fielder's choice. Going to bring up Taryn Ward. Two outs now. Runner at first is Shoblin. Winslick looks over at Shoblin. Comes set. First pitch to Ward. Breaking ball inside. Ball one. Thanks, everybody, for listening. We appreciate all of you who are listening from Wayne Trace, Horts and Order, or we have people listening from all over the country. Internet radio, you can pretty well listen anywhere. 1-0 pitch, long look in by Winslick. Finally comes to the plate. That one's high and away. Ball two, two balls, no strikes, two outs. Runner on first, Rams trail 2-0 here as they bat in the top of inning number three. Winslick gets the sign from the stretch. His 2-0 fouled right back behind us. Two balls and one strike to Rams third baseman Taryn Ward. Rams and Raiders battled over here during basketball season. Raiders pulled away in the fourth quarter. And in football, rather low scoring game. I think the final was 13-6 over here. Winslick from the stretch is 2-1 to Taryn Ward. Traveling short lead at first. Long look in by Winslick. Finally comes. Breaking ball. Throw down to first base. Shoblin back with the head first dive in safely. Didn't actually see the call at the plate. I don't know if that was a ball. I think it was a ball. We'll see what the umpire flashes. 3-1. Yeah, nobody, nobody knew what the call was. It's 3-1 to Darren Ward. Shoblin again, short lead at first. Winslet from the stretch. Comes to the plate. Ward! Swing. <laughs> Ward, excuse me. Ward swings and misses. Strike two. Full count to Taryn Ward. There goes the runner, Shoblin. Swung on and missed. Down goes Ward for the third out. And down goes the Rams. In the inning for Tenora. Your no score. runs, no Seven hits, Raiders, no two. errors. Raiders. One runner left on base after two and a half here at Wayne Trace High School. It's the Raiders of Wayne Trace 2 and your Tenor Rams. Nothing. The Law Office of Wiener Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a full-service law firm dedicated to providing quality legal services in defiance in all of Northwest Ohio. Since 1965, their attorneys have had a well-deserved reputation of excellence in serving clients with a focus on integrity, advocacy, and understanding. At Wiener Hill, Weber, and Stanley, we are a general practice law firm that can handle all of your legal needs. We offer high-quality legal work and personal client service, and each of our attorneys is committed to providing you with top-notch legal support. Attorneys Jim Wiener, Danny Hill, Cam Stanley, and Ian Weber are here to assist you. Give them a call at 419-782-3010 or visit them online at wienerlawoffice.com. The law office of Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley is a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. Bottom of the third inning here at Wayne Trace High School. Raiders will send up four, five, and six. Winslick, Slade, and four to replace Corbin Castile. Steele replaced Eli Plasman. Plasman pitched one and a third innings 
allowed two runs. Both of those were unearned. Three hits, did not strike out anybody, and walked one batter. Again, appreciate everybody from watching. Yes, I saw Pittsburgh Zoo with their comment after I filtered through all the legal streaming links that they always put out there. I think that Facebook would eventually put something out there that blocks all those, but every live event, there's 20 legal streams up there. Winslick reached on an air, scored the second run for the Raiders. That was a huge play in the first inning. Ground ball would have ended the inning and with no runs scored for the Raiders and the Raiders went on to score two unearned runs. Castillo winds it up, breaking ball inside, just a bit inside, ball one to Cooper Winslick. Winslick slayed and four to replace, to face Corbin Castillo. Castillo's 1-0, that one's low and away, ball two. Two balls and no strikes. Steals 2-0. Swung on, hit right field side. That's going to be foul. Connor Wolfram out there gives it a nice run. Just couldn't get there. Rams up 4-0 next door. Later Rams, that is. Here it's 2-0 Raiders. Two balls, one strike is the count to Cooper Winslick, who reached on there and scored in the first inning. Balls in the dirt, two balls at one strike to Winslick. Kyle Slade on deck. Played with an RBI single in the first. Winslick, swung on and miss. Two balls and two strikes. Winslick, 465 last year with 35 RBIs. 389 here in 2023. Steel winds, fires. Winslick smashes it just out of the reach of Rams shortstop Caden Radzik. Winslick on with a leadoff single to start the Raiders' third now inning. Number 14, Kyle Slade. Going to bring up Kyle Slade. Slade, the first baseman in the number five spot in the batting order for Coach Ryan Jerome. Eighth season here for Coach Jerome has built the Raiders into one of the better baseball programs in the area. First pitch is a called strike. 2 nothing Raiders as they bat here in the bottom of the third inning. They have a runner at first. Cooper Winslick, nobody out at the plate as Kyle Slade. No balls and one strike. Corbin Castile from the stretch for Tenor comes to the plate. Swung on, ground ball, shortstop side. Razzik up with the word of second base to Harris. Harris back to first base in time. Double play for the Rams. Just like that, there's two outs. That was nice play by Caden Razzik. Nice turn by Luke Harris over there second. Harris, normally the Rams' right fielder. 6-4-3 on the twin killing. And just like that, we said nobody on and two outs. Kyle Four going to step in. Kyle, 298 last year, 077 this year. However, that was entering the contest. Had a huge RBI single in the first inning to plate the second Raider run. Raiders up 2 0 as they bat here in the bottom of the third. Castillo, long look in, gets the sign from his battery mate Dalton Wolfram, winds it up. First pitch, swung on, fouled off, first base side, out of play. Strike one. Slade bats from the right side. Castillo's 0-1, breaking ball inside corner, strike two. Nice pitch by Corbin Castillo. Steel, great performance last Thursday. 0-2, swung on, fouled back. Castile, shutout ball versus Paulding. Pitched four innings of shutout ball. The Rams defeated the Paulding Panthers last Thursday by a score of 6-3. Oh, 2 pitch is outside. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Nobody on here in the bottom of the third. Raiders with two unearned runs in the first lead. 2-0. Steel.
Steele gets to sign one, two pitch up and in. Count evens at two balls and two strikes to Kyle Four for the third baseman for Coach Jerome. 2-2 two, two pitch. Outside corner, strike three call. Four caught looking for out number three. Headed into the top of the four. In the inning for the Raiders. No runs, one hit, no errors, nobody left. After three innings of play here at Wayne Trace High School, Raiders two and the Tenor Rams, nothing. Drop Zone Pizzeria in Ayersville and Stryker offers the area's best pizza, wings, subs, and calzones. In fact, Drop Zone Pizzeria was voted the area's best pizza in 2020 and again for 2022. From pickle pizza to pilot bread to grandma pizza, Drop Zone Pizzeria is always looking outside the pizza box for something special for their fantastic customers. Order by calling in Ayersville at 419-395-2525 or in Stryker at 419-990-2525. Hours of operation close Monday, Tuesday through Thursday, and Sunday, 4 to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday till 9. Drop Zone Pizzeria now with two locations, downtown Ayersville at 13995 Fruit Ridge Road and also at 301 South Defiant Street in downtown Stryker. Stop in at the Stryker location for a bite of ice cream. Visit them on Facebook at the Drop Zone Pizzeria where online ordering is available. And remember, the Drop Zone Pizzeria says go Rams. Welcome back here to Wayne Trace High School. Raiders with a 2-0 lead over the Rams. Rams going to send 5, 6, and 7. Luke Harris, Dalton Wolfram, and Hunter Bosselman to face Cooper Winslick. Winslick allowed just one hit so far. Luke Harris, all GMC performer in basketball. First team won the three-point contest at the Northwest Districts over at Hicksville two weeks ago. Also won the dunk contest. Winslick winds up, first pitch to Harris. Outside corner, strike one. Like I said a couple times in previous broadcasts, if you haven't seen the dunk that Harris won the contest on, pitch to Luke is low and away, one ball and one strike. You can look that up on YouTube. We bounced it off the wall and then came into the lane, grabbed it with one hand and put it down. <laughs> Heck of a dunk. Harris was also a breakaway steal dunk in that. All-star game at Hicksville. Winslick's 1-1 to Harris. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Winslick ahead of Harris. One ball and two strikes. Comes to the plate. Harris gets the bat on the ball. Hits it to left center field out there is Brady Miller to put it away for out number one to retire Luke Harris. Going to bring up Dalton Wolfram. Wolfram 0 for 1. Ground to the second base. Revan Anderson his first time up. Rams have stranded four runners through the first three and a third innings. Winslet pitch to Wolfram. Just misses the outside corner. Ball one. Was X102 Dalton Wolfram up and in ball two. Two nothing Raiders top of inning number four. Nobody on for the Rams. Was like working very quickly now. 2-0 pitch to Dalton strike one called. 2-1 the count to Rams catcher Dalton Wolfram. Was like gets the ball. He's ready to go now. That one's a strike. Two balls and two strikes. Throws on base. Winslet works very deliberate. Nobody on, he's ready to go. Winslick's 2-2 two, to two, two, Dalton. Swung on, hit right back, hits Winslick in the ankle. Steps off the mound, recovers, fires over to first base to get Dalton Wolfram for out number two. A rocket back at Winslick, recovered. Off the mound, he shakes off Coach Jerome. He's like, I'm fine, get back in the dugout. <laughs> Until it swells up when he gets into the dugout. <laughs> Well, that was a rocket back through the box off the bat of Dalton Wolfram. Hit Winslick in the ankle, perhaps the shoe top. Bounced to the third base side, recovered, scooped it up, fired in time to get Dalton Wolfram. For Tenora, going to bring up Hunter Bosselman. First pitch to Bosselman is a ball. Bosselman grounded out to the third baseman his first time up. 
Winslick's 102 Bosselman strike one called. One ball, one strike, two out, nobody on for the Rams. Here in the top of the fourth, they trail the Raiders 2 0 here at Wayne Trace High School. Winslick's 1 1 to Bosselman. Hits second base side. Little goofy bounce for Brevin Anderson. He stays with it. Throws over to first base to retire Hunnell Bosselman. 4 3 on the putout. Rams go quickly here in the fourth. No runs, no hits, no Raider errors. And for the first time, the Rams do not leave anybody on base through four, through three and a half here at Wayne Trace High School. It's the Raiders 2 and the Rams nothing. The Fired Stone Tavern in Defiance is anything but basic. In 2021, the Fired Stone Tavern was voted to have the best pizza in the area. Now, in 2022, they've been voted as the best burgers around. Fired Stone Tavern is the area's go-to for wood-fired pizza, amazing appetizers, and so much more. Chef Aaron and his staff are here to serve nothing but the best. No plans after the big game? Stop out for ice-cold drinks and all the games on TV you can ask for. Our back room and patio are available for events like birthdays, corporate lunches, parties, and much, much more during the week with a 25-person minimum. Located at 211 Carpenter Road at the Eagle Rock Golf Course, the hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. to 11 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Give the Firestone Tavern a call, 419-785-4015 or order online at firestonetavern.com. Firestone Tavern, which is the best to all the Tenora teams. Back at Wayne Trace High School, Raiders of Wayne Trace up 2 0. They scored two runs in the first inning. Those were unearned. Rams left four on base. Last inning, top of the fourth, was the first time they did not leave a runner on. Next door, courtesy of Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. Leader Rams are up 5 0 after four. You can see in the background, you can hear Kenny Stabler every now and then gives the score. And the game. For the Raiders, we're going to send up 7, 8, 9, Tyler Davis, Evan Crosby, and Tyler Head to face Corbin Castile. Castile on in relief of Eli Plasman. Plasman worked the first one and a third, did not allow an earned run. Castile winds it up. First pitch, fouled off third base side out of place. Strike one. Mr. Michael Hearn listening in. Thank you, Michael. Swung on, drilled center field. That's going to hit the gap. Roll all the way to the wall. Gus Weiler tries to cut it off. He does, but not before. Tyler Davis is in with a stand-up double to start the bottom part of the Raiders' fourth inning. Number eight hitter Evan Crosby steps in, grounded out to Radzik at short, his first time up. Going to assume that Coach Jerome was going to have Evan Crosby just bunt over Tyler Davis at third base for a sacrifice to get a runner at third with just one out here. Castillo, long look in, gets a sign from Dalton Wolf from the senior right. He looks back at the runner a second, comes to the plate. Outside, ball one. Crosby did not square the bunt. Steele, another long look, long, long, long look in, looks back at the runner, comes to the plate. Hit right back to Castillo, goes off his glove. Runner goes to third, Castillo recovers, throws over to first base in time to get Crosby at first. Little one hopper back to Castillo, he fielded it. The ball popped out of his glove, rolled to the first base side. He recovered. Thought he, he actually thought he had the ball with his glove because he looked back at the runner a second and the ball trickled away from him. Recovered through over to Bosselman at first base to get the out. So it's just like a sacrifice. Tyler Davis winds up at third base. Going to bring up the number nine hitter, Tyler Head. Head reached on the air in the second inning, got as far as third base. Runner at third, one out. Pitch fouled straight back. Strike one. Do nothing Raiders here in the bottom of the fourth. Have a runner at third with one out. For the Raiders, number seven, Macy Doster. Castile from the stretch. Looks at the runner at third. Comes to the plate. Outside corner. Strike two call to number nine hitter Tyler Head. Head playing in right field for Coach Jerome. Yeah. 
the 0-2 pitch from Castillo. That's a little bit outside. One ball, two strikes. Coach Jerome closing in, uh, in on win number 100. Less than 20 away, I believe. Steals one, two to head. Swung on and missed. Huge strikeout for Corbin Castillo and the Rams. Out number two leaves the runner, Tyler Davis, still at third. Top of the lineup, Tucker Antoine is going to dig in against Corbin Castillo. Antoine, 0 for 1, grounded to Karen Ward in the first inning and then walked in the second. Castillo from the set comes to the plate. First pitch to Antoine is a strike. Strike one. No balls, one strike, two outs here. Raiders lead 2 nothing. Castillo comes to the plate. Up and in. Hit Tucker Antoine in the upper shoulder, so he's going to trot down to first base after being hit by the pitch. Raiders have runners at the corners up now, Raiders, first and Brevin third. Going to bring up second baseman, number two hitter, Brevin Anderson. Anderson 0 for 2, grounded it out to the pitcher in the first and struck out looking in the second. Anderson 250 coming into the contest. Castillo from the set. Looks at the runners, comes to the plate. There goes the runner. Little ground ball in the hole by Harris. That's going to plate run number three, Tyler Davis for the Raiders. Moving all the way to third as Tucker Anton Brevin Anderson hit it for the eight, as Yogi Bear would say. Harris went to cover second base, and Anderson hit the ball right where Harris was for a seeing eye single. Raiders up 3 0 here in the bottom of inning number four. So Anton motors all the way at third. He's on there. Anderson on at first. Castile, a little unfortunate circumstance there. Pitch, nice stop by Dalton Wolfram. One ball, no strike, pitch coming to Kale Winans. Castillo from the stretch first, or the pitch is fouled back, strike one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Raiders with a three, nothing lead here over at Wayne Trace. Beautiful Tuesday afternoon, early evening for baseball. Castillo looks at the run over at first, Anderson, now looks at third, pitch to the plate. Outside corner, strike two called. One ball, two strikes to Kale Wainans. Runners lead from the corners for the Raiders. Castiles, one, two, two Wainans. Swung on and missed strike three. That ends the inning for the Raiders. They get a huge run. They do so on the two hits, run, no errors, and two Raiders left on base. After four innings of play over here at Wayne Trace High School, the Raiders three and the Rams nothing on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Fairchild Family Chiropractic is happy to announce that Dr. Kayla is now accepting new patients. Long-term wellness continues to be our goal for families of Northwest Ohio. We help you achieve this goal by working closely with you and personalizing your treatment plan based on your needs. Come see Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla at 100 Stadium Drive in Defiance or give them a call 419-576-5070 to schedule your appointment or book online at FairchildFamilyChiro.com. Dr. AJ and Dr. Kayla, proud members of the Tenor Athletic Boosters, say go Rams! Back at Wayne Trace High School, the Raiders with a 3-0 lead. Raiders with two in the first and one in the fourth. Two runs in the first inning were unearned. Eli Plasman was relieved in the second inning by Corbin Castile. Castile went the first, or Castile. Plasman went the first inning in a third. Did not allow an earned run. Two runs. Three hits. 
did not have a strikeout and walked one. Rams have work to do to get back in it, facing junior righty Tucker Cooper Winslick. Winslick almost unhittable, allowed just one hit through the first four innings. Rams, as we said, not quite the offensive attack as they've had in years past. You're not going to see Cole Comiso or Nolan Schaefer or any of those guys here today. Rams play small ball here in 2023, kind of base by base, really. Connor Wolf from Grady Gusweiler than the top, Aiden Mosier, 8 9 and 1, to face Cooper Winslick. Winslick from the stretch winds it up. First pitch to Connor Wolfram, strike one called. Winslick, so one to Wolfram, breaking ball just a bit high. Count evens at one ball and one strike. We'll be over at Fairview on Thursday, where the Rams will travel to take on Coach Singer in the Apaches. 1-1 one, one pitch, Wolfram gets the bat on it, fouls it off first base side, out of play. One ball and two strikes. Rams left, 2-1 in the first, one in the second, and one in the third. Best scoring opportunity came in the first, had runners at first and second with one out. 1-2 one, pitch from Winslick to Connor Wolf from breaking ball, swung on and missed, strike three. Nice pitch by Cooper Winslick. Going to bring up the Rams center fielder, number nine hitter, Grady Gusweiler. Gusweiler 0 for 1, grounded to third base. Kyle for his first plate appearance. It almost beat it out. Got nicked at first base by a whisker. Speedy Gusweiler. All GMC linebacker. Grady Gusweiler. For the 2022 football season. Winslick's pitch to Gusweiler. Breaking ball. Just misses the inside corner. Ball one. One zero -oh pitch to Gus Weiler. Strike called. Oh. Bat goes flying. <laughs> Gus Weiler swung and the bat went to the third base side of the fence. One ball and two strikes to Grady. One out and nobody on. Rams trail 3-0 as they bat here in the top of inning number five. Winslick definitely has it working. Winslick winds up his 1-2 to Gus Weiler. Breaking ball swung on and missed. Strike three. Second out of the inning. Going to bring up the top of the order. Aiden Mosier. So Aiden's going to dig in against Winslick. Six strikeouts for Winslick. Mosier 0 for 2 has started the game, got caught looking, and then struck out swinging in the third. First pitch swinging, ground ball, first base side. Winslick lets the ball go by, picked up by first baseman Kyle Slade, who flips it over to Winslick covering. A lot of excitement for an out there. Rams go quickly in the fifth. 3-1 on the put out. In the inning for the Rams, no runs, no hits, no Raider errors. Rams do not leave anybody on through four and a half here at Wayne Trace High School. Raiders up 3-0 on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Okolona Tavern, located in downtown Okolona, is the home of the famous Okie Tavern Wings. Stop in after the game and get some delicious wings, burgers, fries, onion rings, and enjoy an ice cold beverage while talking about the game. Hours of operation are Tuesday to Sunday, opening at 4 p.m. Check out the Okolona Tavern on Facebook for a menu before you head out. Mexican food specials every Thursday and Sunday. The Okolona Tavern, a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. BSN Sports, the recognized leader in team athletic gear. BSN forms partnerships with educators, coaches, and students to build school pride, student engagement, and community spirit. Our partnerships give you access to the most brand names in the industry with all of the hottest products at the best prices. From Nike to Wilson to Under Armour, we can customize any team needs. Since 1972, BSN Sports has brought you the brands that make you untouchable on the field, the court, or anywhere else you play your sport. Contact BSN local sports rep Jim Gares for any of your sports needs at 419-576-6894.
Northwest Ohio Sports is the place for sports rankings, news, scores, podcasts, and more for area athletics. Check them out at Northwest Ohio Sports on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you haven't done so, make sure you get over there and like Northwest Ohio Sports, NWO Sports on all social media platforms. Have our fall football show. Before we do it, we'll be having our fall football preview right around the corner. So look forward to that. Make sure you, like I said, get over, check out NW Sports on all social media platforms. Like it on YouTube as well. And usually on Thursday, Logan releases our podcast in the fall for football. Great time, Coach Fairchild, Dr. AJ, and Logan we have on there. First pitch to Winslick is smashed right through the middle for a base hit. Winslick on for the third time. Reached on an error in the first, singled in the third, and now has singled to start the Raider fifth. Kyle Slade had an RBI single in the first, grounded into a double play in the third. Nice turn at second base on that double play by Luke Harris. Winslick leads from first. Castile's pitch to the plate outside corner. Strike one called. Kyle Slade, 429 coming into the contest. Had that said huge RBI single in the first. Two runs unearned for the Raiders. Plays another in the fourth to grab a 3 0 lead. Pitch. Just a bit high. Count evens, one ball, one strike. Nobody out, runner at first, Winslick. Three runs, eight hits, one error for the Raiders. No runs, one hit, one error for the Rams. Castillo throws over, Winslick back standing. Raiders travel to Hicksville Thursday. A GMC contest. Throw over to first base back safely is Winslick. Friday over at Kaleida. I think they got the stands almost built. I don't know if they have the seats over at Kaleida installed yet. Over at Holy Field Ballpark, I believe. I think we're headed to, well, we'll try and head over there. Rams take on Kaleida later this season. One ball, one strike, pitch, swung on and missed. Yeah, no seats. It's They tore them down in the spring. Yeah, bring your chair for those of you from Wayne Trace that are listening and going to travel over to Kaleida. But they're redoing the ballpark where they put in turf a couple years ago. One, two pitches fouled off first base side, and they're currently remodeling the grandstand. Actually, it's a nice feel over there. Kind of an old-fashioned, like, 60s ballpark feel. It's got bleachers with a cover over you. I mean, it's, it's a nice setting over there. So they had a fundraiser, and a heck of a fundraiser it was. Fantastic facility over there at Kaleida. But, yes, bring a chair if you're headed to Kaleida on Friday. 1-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Down goes Slade. Out number one. Winslick back at first base on the strikeout. He's going to bring up Kyle Four. Four with an RBI single in the first. Struck out looking in the third. Raiders up 3 nothing as they bat here in the bottom of inning number five. Winslick leads away from first. Four digs in, bats from the right side. Castile's first pitch. Ground ball, third base side. Ward up with it at the cut of the grass. Throw over to first base Hunter Bosselman. Puts it away for out number two, five, three on that put out. And bring up number seven here, center fielder Tyler Davis. Davis struck out looking in inning number one. Doubled and scored in the fourth as the Raiders added a single run. Head coach Brett Reynolds going to come out, talk to Corbin Castillo, and usually situation like this two outs and a runner at second see what BR wants to discuss with his battery mate Castile and Dalton Wolfram Raiders with two in the first inning they scored a single in the fourth they have grabbed a three to nothing lead as they're still batting here in the bottom of the fifth 
Eight hits for the Raiders, one error. Rams' biggest threat came in the first inning where they had two runners on with one out and did not score. Just one hit for the Rams. That was a first inning single by Caden Radzik. Runner at second for the Raiders, that's Cooper Winslick. With the second base only ground out by four. Tyler Davis. Davis bats from the left side of the plate. First pitch swung on and missed. Davis 380 coming into the contest. One for two. Castillo long look in. Winslick leads from second. Castillo looks back at him. Castillo comes to the plate. Inside strike two. Look just to be just a bit inside where we're at <laughs> up here. Maybe by a foot or so. <laughs> Castillo looks back at the runner. Time out. Tyler Davis asks for time. Steps out. Looks down at Coach Jerome with third. Digs back in the left hand side of the batter's box. Castillo from the set comes to the plate inside. Almost the same spot as the previous pitch was. Dalton Wolfram thought it was strike three. Did not get the call. Count is one and two now to Tyler Davis. Two outs, runner a second. Cooper Winslick leads away. Castillo's one, two, swung on and missed. Strike three, down goes Tyler Davis for out number three. The In the inning one for the Raiders, and no Wayne runs, a get three. one hit, no Ram three. errors. Raiders leave a runner on base after five innings of play here at Wayne Trace High School over at Haviland. Raiders three, Rams nothing on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Optimal Performance Fitness is not just your typical gym. Here at OPF, you don't pay for a membership just to hop on a treadmill. We are a fitness coaching center that strives to provide an experience like no other. We provide accountability and results. You either work one-on-one -on -one with a certified personal trainer or in a group setting with like-minded people. Here at OPF, we want to change your mindset of going to the gym into something that you enjoy and look forward to doing. Rather than going to the gym merely to work out, we train at OPF. We are your cheering section, your motivators, and soon to be family. Optimal Performance Fitness strives to help you achieve the best version of yourself. Contact us today to take that first step. It could be life-changing. Stop with all the excuses. Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Call Jake at 419-438-7265 and get started today at Optimal Performance Fitness. Back at Wayne Trace High School, Raiders with a 3-0 lead over the Rams. 2-3-4 and four to face Winslick, Radzik, Shoblin, and Ward. Winslick pretty much been in control since that first inning where the Rams had two on and one out. Number 11, Radzik, Rams shortstop, the number two hitter. Singled in the first, that's the only Rams hit. Reached on a walk in the third. Winslick just a junior, one of the better pitchers here in the area. Gets the sign from Antoine, his first pitch to Radzik. Strike one called. Rams running out of time. As they trail 3-0 here in the top of the sixth. Tapper foul, third base side of the plate. Radzik down quickly, no balls and two strikes. Winslick winds it up, 0-2 to Radzik. Swung on, fly ball, right field. Tyler Head out there, puts it away for out number one to retire Caden Radzik. Number 21, Alec Shablin. Alec Shablin steps in. Shablin walked in the first and hit into a fielder's choice in the third. Winslick winds it up. First pitch to Shovlin outside, swung on and missed. Strike one. Stay tuned after the game. Have the Bidlack Insurance and Investments post game show and then the Rams win. It could be Embroidery Player of the Game Award. Breaking ball, strike two called to Alex Shovlin. Taryn Ward awaits on deck for the Rams. 
can see your score. The Rams six, the Raiders three. Swung on and missed. Ball goes to the backstop. Gets by Antoni. Fires down to first base in time to get Shopkin at first base for out number two. Two three on the put out. That goes us down as a strikeout Coming for Winslick. Six four, three. Terry Lady Rams Lee. up in softball next door. They said that was in the sixth inning. Mr. Kenny Stabler did. Here it's three nothing Raiders. The top of inning number six. Two outs, nobody on. Taryn Ward steps in. 0 for 2. Struck out twice. Swinging against Winslick. First pitch to Winslick. Breaking ball. Strike one. Winslick definitely has kept the Rams off balance here tonight. Oh, ones outside. Count evens. One ball, one strike. Two outs, nobody on. As the Rams bat here in the top of inning number five. Winslick's pitch, that's outside. Two balls and one strike. Winslick gets a sign from Antoine. 2-1 pitch coming to Ward. Swung on and missed strike two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Nobody on. 3 nothing Raiders. As the Rams bat here in the top of inning number six on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Winslick's 2-2. Ward gets the hat trick. Third time going down, swinging for Ward for the Rams. Again, they go quickly. No runs, no hits, no Raider errors, and nobody left on for the Rams. After five and a half, three nothing Raiders on your drop zone. Pizzeria scoreboard. Is your business looking for someone to take the day-to-day -day worries of your bookkeeping off your mind? Weber Bookkeeping Solutions of Defiance is here to help. With over five years of small business bookkeeping experience and seven years in banking, you can be confident that your books are in the right hands with Jenny Weber. Let Weber Bookkeeping Solutions handle the monthly tracking and reports so that you can focus on your business goals. Contact Jenny at 419-956-1273, and you can also visit her on Facebook or at WeberBookkeeping.com. Have your hair and nails gotten out of control over the past few months? Cut and Polish Salon of Defiance is your local salon to get all pampered up. Cut and Polish Salon offers a vast range of quality services, including haircuts, highlights, specialty coloring, waxing, manicures, and pedicures. Please schedule a visit at their fun, relaxing salon where you can be sure that all of your hair and nail needs are a top priority. Cut and Polish Hair and Nail Salon is located at 413 Hopkins Street in Defiance. Be sure to book your appointment today by calling 419-576-5087 or do your booking online by visiting their Facebook page. Cut and Polish Salon says, remember, it's all fun and games until someone breaks a nail. Cut and Polish Salon is a proud supporter of Tadora Rams Live. Back here at Wayne Trace High School, Raiders up by a score of 3-0 over the Rams. Raiders basically in control since the first inning. 8-9-1 to face Corbin Castile. Evan Crosby, Tyler Head, and then the top, Tucker Antoine, will face Corbin Castile. Castile came in in relief of Eli Plasman with one out in the second inning and has pitched very effectively ever since. Pitch to Crosby. A little bit of high ball one. Crosby 0 for 2. Castile, long look in, winds it up. 1-0 pitch. Strike call. Count evens at one ball and one strike. Overall career record for Coach Renault against the Raiders. 20 and 2. <laughs> One ball, one strike. Foul back, strike two. So Coach Jerome up on Coach Brent Renolette by a score of three to nothing. In 22 contests, as we said, uh, BR has got the best of the Raiders. 20 of those, 20 and two career record over the Raiders. Castile, long look in, gets the sign from Wolfram. His one, two pitch. Hit right back into center field for a solid base hit. Crosby smashes it back through the box. The leadoff single for the Raiders is going to bring up number nine number hitter, number seven, Tyler Head. Tyler Head to the plate. Head digs in, reached on an error in the second, struck out in the fourth. Raiders with the runner at first are going to have a pinch runner. Going to bring up Brady Miller. So Brady Miller is the pinch runner 
for Evan Crosby. Head, as we said, 0 for 2. Racing on air in the second, struck out in the fourth. 3 nothing Raiders here in the bottom of the sixth. Runner at first, nobody out. Brady Miller. Pitch running for Evan Crosby. Head digs in from the right side. Long look in by the Rams pitcher Castillo. Throws over to first base. Back with the head first dive is Brady Miller. Safe is Miller. Thanks for those of you listening to us here on Snow Rams Live. We appreciate that. Go to snowrams.com afterwards. Post game, articles, photos, and whatnot. Breaking ball. Strike one called to Tyler Head. No balls, one strike, nobody out here in the bottom of the six. Runner at first is Brady Miller. Raiders up 3 nothing. for those of you just joining us. Next door, 6-3. Lady Rams up on the Lady Raiders. Castillo throws back over. Miller back with a head first dive. Top of inning number seven. Lady Rams up, 6-3, says Cheryl. Or actually says Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. 0-1. Pitch is a little bit outside. <laughs> Excuse me. A little cough pops up every now and then for some reason. It's out of the blue. Like it's like a hiccup cough. It's like boom. One ball, one strike. The count, count to Tyler Head. Runner at first leads away. Pitch to Head. Squares around the button. Bunts in the air. Wolfram drops it. Now can't recover. On first base, another air for the Rams is Tyler ahead. Going down to second base is Brady Miller. That's E2. Pop up right in front of the plate. Dalton Wolfram did not take the mask off. Tried to catch it. Hit the heel of his glove. Bounced away. Went down to a knee. Tried to pick it up. Bobbled it again. By the time he recovered, there was no play. So the Raiders had the first two runners on here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Already leading three to nothing. Top of the lineup, Tucker Antoine. Antoine is one for two with a walk. Actually, he's, he says 0 for one. He walked in the second and was hit by a pitch in the fourth. Pitch is a strike. Grounded out in the first. Walked in the second and was hit in the fourth, Tucker Antoine. See if he squares around to try and bunt the runners over with nobody out. Castillo comes set. Looks back at the runner a second. Steps off. Runners go back to the bases. <laughs> Make sure you get your reverse raffle tickets. We'll see everybody there Saturday night at Ridgeville. Pitch outside corner. Strike called. Count evens one ball. Or count goes to 0-2. No balls, two strikes, nobody out to Castile or to Antone. Castile on the mound. Leans in, gets the sign. Checks the runner at first. Checks the runner at second. Comes to the plate to Antoine. Outside and low, ball one. One ball, two strikes to the Raiders leadoff hitter, Tucker Antoine. Robert Anderson on deck for the Raiders. Raiders up 3-0 as they bat here in the bottom of the sixth. Have... Two on and nobody out. Turning to add more. Castile comes set to the plate. Bouncer right back to Castile. Knocks it down. Throws over to first base in time to get Antoine for out number one. One three on the put out. Again, a little bouncer back to the mound. Castile knocked it down. Had he fielded it cleanly, think he would have had to play at third. Runners advance. Brady Miller goes down to third, and Tyler Head goes down to second. So the Raiders with runners at second and third with one out. Brevin Anderson to the plate. Had an RBI single, his last plate appearance in the fourth. Struck out looking in the second and grounded back to the pitcher in the first. One for three with an RBI. Runners at second and third. Castile works to Anderson. First pitch outside corner, strike one called. Bottom of the six, three nothing Raiders. Nine hits, one error for the Raiders. Rams, just one hit off of Cooper Winslick. Six three Rams win next door final. Squared around the bunt, bunts it right in front of the plate. Wolfram feels it, no play. Suicide squeeze works for the Raiders. Brady Miller scores run number four. 
Advancing to third is Tyler Head down to first base with a RBI bunt single is Brevin Anderson. Kale Winans. Going to bring up Kale Winans. Raiders add run number four to increase their lead to four nothing. Kale Winans is going to dig in, singled and scored in the first. Flew out in the second to center and struck out swinging in the fourth. <coughs> Runners at the corners for the Raiders. One out. Castile. Long look in. Looks at the runner at first. Now glances at the runner at third. Pitch to Wainens outside. Ball one. Cam Wainens, 235 coming in. Cooper Winslick awaits on deck for the Raiders. One-zero pitch from Castile comes to the plate in the dirt. Nice stop by Dalton Wolfram. Otherwise, the Raiders would have had run number five. Ten hits for the Raider attack. Cram's just not catching any breaks on the field here today, but with one hit, still got to score runs. Castile looks at the runners. His 2-0 pitch coming to Winans. Outside, ball three. Three balls and no strikes to Kale Winans on deck. We said Cooper Winslick. I don't know if you want to pitch around Winans to get to Winslick. Runners at the corners with one out for the Raiders. Castile has been in the game since the second inning in relief of Plasman. 3-0 pitch. He steps off. All right, Kale, here we go, big dog. Game just over 90 minutes old over here at Wayne Trace. 3 0 pitch coming to Winans. Outside corner, strike one called. Lady Rams win next door. 6 3 over the Raiders. Travel to Fairview as well on Thursday. Coach Fairchild and the Lady Rams do. 3 1 pitch from Castile coming to Winans. Strike two called. Town goes full at three and two. One out runner still at the corners for the Raiders. They lead the Tenor Rams by a score of four nothing here in the bottom of inning number six. Right here. Long look in for Castile. Looks at the runner. There goes the runner. Castile steps off. Time he throws down to second. It's too late. So Anderson with a stolen base kind of caught Castile napping a bit there. The Rams, not their best defensive performance, but basically the Raiders were trying to steal a run there. They wanted Castile to throw down earlier than what he did to allow the runner a third head to score. 3-2 pitch to the plate by Castile. Swung on, fouled back. Count remains 3-2. and two. Runners at second and third for the Raiders. Head at third. Brevin Anderson at second. The Raiders have already plated one here in the sixth. Look to add more to their 4 nothing lead. Castile's payoff pitch. Inside ball four. Winans draws a walk. That's going to load him up for Cooper Winslick. Now batting number 10, Cooper Winslick. Nobody down in the Rams bullpen. Nobody coming out of the Tenora dugout. So it's Castile's job to work out of this bases loaded one out jam. Facing one of the better hitters in the area that set a record last year for the Raiders. 465 and 35 RBIs for Cooper Winslick. Winslick has been on base all three times. First pitch, swung on, drilled into center field. That's going to plate two. Two out, or one out. Two RBI single for Cooper Winslick. Gives the Raiders a 6 nothing lead over the Rams. Now batting number 14. Kyle Scoring Green. was head and Brevin Anderson. <laughs> Moving down to third. On that was Kale Wainens and Winslick. Been on base four times, three singles, and reached on an error in the first. Kyle Slade steps in. First pitch to Slade. Swung on, little blooper, second base side. Luke Harris comes in, puts it away for out number two. Up next for the Raiders, number six, bring up Kyle, Kyle Four. Four. 
Porter with an RBI single in the first. Struck out looking in the third. Grounded to Taryn Ward at third in the fifth. Two runs in the first for the Raiders. Those were unearned. Had a single run in the fourth and three huge runs here in the sixth for Wayne Trace to grab a 6-0 lead over the Rams. Runners at the corners, two outs. Castile's first pitch outside, ball one. Kyle Four, the eighth man to bat here in the sixth inning for Coach Jerome's Raiders. Said Coach Jerome closing in on win number 100. Could get it this year. 1 0 pitch inside, swung on and missed. Count evens at one ball and one strike. The steal from the set looks at the runners. His 1 1 pitch to the plate to 4. Little dribbler, shortstop side, Razik up with it. Long throw over, in, no, pulled him off the bag. Up next, so the Raiders add another run, scoring is Winans. The error on the Rams there at first base will be Kyle Ford moving down to second is Cooper Winslick, 7 nothing Raiders. I'm not actually sure what happened there. Radzik fielded it through over to first base, and I don't know if it was a low throw, because he said it's hard to, they're gonna do like a double fence here at Wayne Trace, so can't actually see clearly as to what actually happened. We have some bars in our face right where the first baseman is. Have the SD version of the game uploaded probably in the morning. Sometimes it takes a long time to upload for whatever reason. 7-0 Raiders, still batting. This is the ninth man to bat, Tyler Davis for the Raiders. Bats from the right side of the plate. Castillo's pitch up and away, ball one. Raiders with runners at first and second have scored four here in the sixth. Still batting with two outs. One ball, no strike count to Tyler Davis. Evan Crosby on deck, the man who started this rally. Castillo's pitch to... Davis, strike, called, one ball, one strike, two outs. Runners at first and second for the Raiders. Castile still on the hill for the Rams. Comes to the plate. That one's fouled off third base side. One ball and two strikes to the number seven, sen, number seven hitter, center fielder, Tyler Davis. Steele gets a sign from Wolfram. His 1-2 to Davis. Drilled in the gap. <laughs> Gus Weiler cuts it off, but not before another run scores. Davis with an RBI single. Of course, Cooper Winslick with run number eight. For the Raiders, number two, Brady Miller. So four on at second, Davis on at first. I'll bring up for the Raiders, Brady Miller, who pinch ran last inning. Eight nothing Raiders, five here in the sixth. Castile on the mound from the stretch comes to the dish. Strike called to Brady Miller. <laughs> Runners at first and second. Still two out here. Tenth man to bat in the inning. Castile comes to the plate. Breaking ball, strike two. Tyler Head on deck. Twelve hits for the Raiders here tonight. Castillo, long set, 0-2 pitch, swung on and miss. Down goes Davis for out number three. The Raiders score five. Raiders runs. score five, four hits. Four. One Ram here. They leave two. 
Ten men batted for the Raiders in the bottom of the six. They now lead the Rams by a score of eight to nothing on your drop zone pizzeria scoreboard. Looking for an opportunity where you can grow your career, be appreciated, and be an owner where you work? Did we say owner? Yes! Mech is an employee-owned company that is highly motivated and actively supports the communities in which our facilities are located. Mayville Engineering needs you. Mech is an employee-owned business where our focus is on our customers' success. Mech has been named the nation's number one fabricator for 12 consecutive years in a survey published by the Fabricator magazine. Join the Mech family today. Full and part-time positions are available. $1,000 sign-on bonus, 401k, vacation and holiday pay, gain-sharing program, employee stock ownership, medical, dental, and vision insurance, short-term and long-term disability, and shift premiums for second and third shift. Visit our website, mechinc.com. Click on careers or visit the 21 Seneca Street lobby at the Defiance location. Are you tired of... Back to the action on Tenora Rams Sports Live. Last chance for the Rams. They trail the Raiders 8-0. Five huge runs in the bottom of the six for the Raiders as they lead 8-0. He runs 12 hits for the Raiders. Cooper Winslet trying to close out the Rams. Harris Wolfram and Bosselman, 5, 6, and 7, to hit against Cooper Winslet, who's allowed just one hit. Three errors for the Rams. Winslet winds it up. First pitch to Harris. Outside corner, strike one called. Stay tuned. Good luck, insurance and investments post-game show ride after this. Winslet winds it up. Ground ball by Harris. Third base side four. Scoops it up. Throws over to first base. Kyle Slade puts it away for out number one to retire Harris. 5-3 on the ground out. Now batting number 15, Dalton Wolfram. Dalton Wolfram is going to step in for Tenora. Wolfram 0 for 2. Two ground balls for Dalton. Winslick winds it up. Breaking ball just misses the inside corner. Had Dalton buckling at the knees. Cooper Winslick's 102 Wolfram ground ball, second base side. Anderson in front of it, scoops it up. Over in time to retire Wolfram. 4 3 on the put out. That'll bring up number 19, Hunter Bosselman. Hunter Bosselman's going to step in. Wayne Trace, one out away from grabbing a 2-0 GMC lead. And they're going to be tough to beat outside of Fairview. I don't see anybody beating Cooper Winslick and the Raiders this season. About the only luck you would have if somehow there would be rainouts and you'd get two GMC contests like we have this week on a Tuesday and Thursday. And just get the number one just one time. Breaking ball, strike called. Count even to Bosselman. One ball, one strike, but Winslick basically unhittable. After the first inning, got into the groove, and Rams have yet to recover. Breaking ball is just wicked here tonight for Winslick. Fouled off third base side by Bosselman. Bosselman down one ball, two strikes, two outs. Rams down to their final strike. Here in the seventh, they trail eight to nothing. Winslick's pitch fouled off first base side by Bosselman on deck for the Rams is Connor Wolfram. Actually be a pinch hitter. B.J. Morlock will be your pinch hitter if Bosselman reaches. Winslick winds it up. His 1-2 pitch to Bosselman. Breaking ball inside corner. Just a bit inside. Count evens two balls and two strikes. Approaching the one hour and 50 minute mark here for the game tonight. 2-2 oh, uh -oh. pitch coming from Winslick to Bosselman. He winds it up, fires to the plate. Strike, three call. Bosselman caught looking for out number three. In the inning for the Rams, no runs, no hits, no Raider errors, and nobody left on base. Raiders with a 8-0 shutout over the Rams here over at Wayne Trace to grab a 2-0 lead in the GMC 
standings. Big win for the Raiders. That's the first Rams loss of the season. Rams fall to 6-1. and one. They are 1-1 one and one in the GMC. Raiders improve to 6-1. and one. They are 2-0 and oh in the GMC. Time of the game, 1 hour 45 minutes here at Wayne Trace. Raiders, 8 runs, 12 hits, 1 error. Rams, no runs, 1 hit, and 3 errors. Stay tuned. Coming up, we're going to have the Bidlack and Insurance and Investments post-game show, and we will do it right after this. Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement? Or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one -on -one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenora Rams athletes this season. Back at Wayne Trace, first time in a long time, the Raiders have defeated the Rams by a score of 8 to nothing here. Raiders, eight runs, 12 hits, one errors. Rams, no runs, just one hit. That was the first, in, first inning single by Caden Radzik. Rams committed three, if not four, errors on the evening. Eli Plasman worked the first inning and a third, allowed two runs, those were unearned. Allowed three hits, did not strike on anybody out, walk one. Corbin Castillo came in and pitched the final five and two thirds. Or four and two-thirds, actually, of relief. Pitch solid. Defense kind of let him down in the sixth inning as he was tiring. Kind of just one of those things where BR just, I think, just left him out there. It was kind of feast or famine. And as Corbin was tiring, it was darned if you do, darned if you don't. Welcome to the Bidlack Insurance and Investments postgame show. Only threat the Rams had was in that first inning. Had two runners on and one out against Winslick. Mosier started the inning with a strikeout. Radzik singled. Shoblin walked to put runners at first and second. Winslick retired Ward with the strikeout, and they got Luke Harris to ground into a fielder's choice to end the Rams' threat in the first. Rams left two runners on in the first inning and the single runners on in the second and third, and after that, Winslick did not allow a base runner to last four innings in complete control and picking up his third win to move to 3-0. Corbin Castile and Eli Plasman, your pitchers. Plasman suffers the loss, his first of the season. It's the time of the game, one hour and 45 minutes. Raiders improve to 6-1, 2-0 on the GMC. Rams suffer their first loss. They fall to 6-1, 1-1. Rams will play at, Wayne, or at uh, Fairview on Thursday where the Raiders will travel to Hicksville on Thursday as well. Huge win for the Raiders over the Rams to seize control early in the GMC season. Thank you for listening. If you're a Raider fan or a Ram fan, Lady Rams victorious next door by a score of 6-3. to three. It's one of those deals where if you ride the same bus over, you almost need a divider because you're going to have one team that's happy that you won and another team with a very disappointing loss. So it's like, uh, boy, you drive two separate buses. <laughs> but I think the Rams, everybody is just going to pile on the same bus. So you're going to have a happy front and a very unhappy back part of the 35 minute bus ride back to Tenora High School. So, thank you for listening. Thanks to all our fantastic sponsors BSN Sports, Weber Bookkeeping, Maui Valley Title Agency, Clubhouse Pizza and Nay, Fairchild Family Chiropractic Center, Optimal Forms and Fitness, Drop Zone Pizzeria in Stryker and in Ayersville, Higby Embroidery Signs, Excavating the Firestone Tavern, Oklahoma Tavern, Northwest Ohio Sports, Pat and Stevens Body Shop, Toronto Rams Athletic Boosters. Make sure you get your booster ticket. Come out to the reverse raffle this Saturday. I'd like to see everybody there. Chance to win up to $6,500, if not more. Cut and Polished Hair Nail Salon, Wooden Indian Pawn Shop, Midlack Insurance, and 
Financial Services, Wiener, Hill, Weber, and Stanley, Attorneys at Law, Postuma Insurance and Investments, and finally, Met Mayfield Engineering. Start your Met career today. Go to metcareers.com. $1,000 sign-on bonus for those of you looking for a job or looking to change jobs. metcareers.com. Final again, Raiders with a 8 nothing win. Winslick allows just one hit. Goes the distance and picks up the win for the Raiders. Have a fantastic what's left of your Tuesday night, everybody. And we'll see everybody Thursday over at Fairview. Thanks for listening to this exclusive presentation of Tenora Rams Sports. Be sure to tune in next time when we bring you more Rams action and follow us online at TenoraRamsSportsAudio.com or on Twitter at Tenora Rams Audio.